Let me show you how to um, prepare a more complicated layout for bleed. So if you take a layout like this one and you go to print the cards, we're going to see a problem when I apply bleed. So if I now go to apply my my three mils of bleed, we'll see there's something kind of funky going on here. So that's my three mils of bleed. And as you can see, there's this weird kind of green shapes background going on and this white border isn't growing. And that is because the white border isn't actually on the card background element. It's another element. And so it's not growing as I want it to. So there's something going on here. I need to fix this. So if I go back to the project um, and I actually open up this one, um, it's here. I'm going to edit the layout and I'm going to just have a bit of a dig around and see what's going on. So my card background is not actually the element with the white border. So the white border is here and I, I wanted to have this white border because it's hiding these huge green um, zones that I've put in here. So if I, if I actually turn on the bleed here, so if I get this out, I'm going to make this bigger and just check that in my three mils, everything is as I, as I want it. I need the white border on top, but if I put it on top where it was, it's not big enough. So I need to fix that. And the simplest way, of course, is to just make it bigger, make it bigger. And then I'll need to make it actually come down further here. So if I just go to the border element, I'm just going to turn up its size and it was halfway through. So that looks good. Now, if I turn on the safe area preview, you'll see that I could actually lose some of these precious elements here on my card design. And because there's actually quite a bit of room here in this card design, I might decide to leave it and take that risk, or I might decide to actually bring them in a bit. So I think I will do that. I'll bring them in just a little bit so that if all goes, pear shaped at least i'm not going to lose these as as much so i'm going to bring them in a bit so you might need to do some make some adjustments to your layout to make it really good for printing um but once you've but once you've done these adjustments i'm just going to leave that one there even though that's in the safe area i would risk something like that it's not that big a deal um i'm going to save and close and then if I go back to my projects and I go to export this guy and then turn on the bleed, I should see that, yep, yeah, it's fine. And so I've got that nice area there. If I turn the crop marks, you can see here, that's where the printer would cut it. So if I have that preview again, I've got this nice, quite a bit of wiggle room here it's going to look it's going to look pretty decent however that printing cut happens so that's how you'd fix a slightly more complicated layout